Well, hi, I'm Brent Neiser. I've been involved in financial education for years, especially in the problem gambling area for probably over 20. I'm a certified financial planner. I don't practice, but I run a YouTube channel called What's Next with Money. Keeping finances organized in today's digital age gives us many options, but also because they're so fresh and things move so fast, we often forget to slow it down, take our time, take inventory of what we have. Think of the loved ones you have who need to know where things are and why. And by looking at where your accounts are, how money moves, we, we're going to talk about building a money map that is uh, one of our more popular videos. You can find out uh, pathways of how money is working or not working. You'll end up identifying accounts you might need to close, accounts you need to create, things that need to be retitled, beneficiary designations that you can update. These are very simple tasks, but it's often hard in today's fast-paced society to focus and take your time. Gambling, day trading, and crypto all move at a very fast pace. In some ways, they form the basis of financial entertainment. And if we rely on personal finance and money for entertainment and not think about the, some of the main purposes of it for retirement security, um, keeping our credit up, uh, aspiring and maintaining home ownership, educating our children, and also keeping our incomes up with our own professional development. Financial entertainment in its proper context can be okay, but if those other big money issues are neglected, we're gonna find our net worth dwindling, our credit scores dropping, our ability to afford and prosper uh, depleted. But we're going to find by slowing things down and isolating some of our financial decisions, we can make better decisions. Some of them can be made automatically, uh, really while we sleep. This concept of monthly contributions to a retirement fund that you can set it and almost forget it. Many 401k plans, when you join a company, you're automatically enrolled. And 90% of the people that find themselves in that situation have the free choice to opt out. They don't. They let it ride. And over time, wealth can be created. Financial shockwaves are things that hit most American families. In fact, a study by the National Endowment for Financial Education, a foundation where I worked for many years, found that most Americans will encounter four financial shock waves by the time they're 70. What is a financial shock wave? It could be a period of unemployment. It could be a divorce, uh, an illness, a disability, or a death of a loved one in the family. For financial shock waves, there are several ways to look at it. Recovery is important. Having a good inventory of where your money is and its assigned purpose would be very helpful. Knowing what insurances you have, um, working as a team with your family members to pull it together, rebuilding an emergency fund, keeping an eye on credit, looking for alternative sources of income, processing insurance properly are ways to handle financial shockwaves. And then being financially organized, having the sense of where things are. What about my digital assets? Uh, creating a money map. This will also add momentum and perspective and giving any household a sense of financial control, which is so important. And you're really almost gearing down in your personal financial outlook to not speed through life and speed through your money, which you could end up losing most of your money if you go too fast. 